the United States, the average residential insurance claim for water damage is like $10,000. And one of the prime culprits are right here, the basic washing machine hose. Now, in any laundry setup, you're going to have hot water supply, cold water supply, shutoffs on each. Now, there's full city water pressure, and this is just a basic rubber hose. Now, the average life expectancy for these hoses, they say, is like eight to nine years. So, if the units are down here in the basement, it's catastrophic when they let go, but at least the damage is contained to just one local area of the house. But these days, people are opting to try and put the wash and dryer up inside the building. There's obvious reasons for that. It's much more convenient where the dirty clothes get generated and where they get stowed. No more going down those back stairs to the basement. But it comes with additional risks. If those washing machines hoses let go, it can have a disastrous effect on the whole building now. Now we're here on a condominium on the second and third floor of a house and there's also an owner on the first floor. If this washing machine leaks, it's a big deal. But there are some safeguards against the potential damage from these hoses. Now, on this unit right here, they've got a shut up, a hot, and there's a cold. So simple. And guess what? No one ever, ever does it. Nobody turns these valves off. And they even make a lever one that you can just drop a lever, and that takes the pressure off the hoses, and they don't turn that off either. To make this installation safe, I'm going to add a device called an automatic wash machine shutoff valve. This is a quick acting valve that'll open and close. So I'm gonna replace this box with this. Now, what you've got here is you've got your hot and cold connections right here. Here's where our washing machine hoses will adapt. What's different is we're gonna take this electrical connection and we're gonna plug it into the wall and we're gonna take the washing machine electrical plug, plug it into the device. Now, when you ask for the washing machine to come on, then and only then, does that electrical current force the valve to open and pressurize the hoses. You use it as you need it for the washing machine. The washing machine's done, electrical current ends, closes the valve again. You don't have to think about it. The pressure is off the hoses, and that's safe. To replace the valves first, I need to shut off the hot and cold going to the upstairs unit. So the old box was right here. You can see where it came down to the drain. I've already cut the hot and cold water lines and the drain. And the new box is bigger. So what I did was to cut this structure away. There was a piece of wood right here that wasn't big enough. So now it is just big enough for this dimension. So I'm gonna make these connections stainless steel clamp. That's that one. Well, it's a relatively small job, but with a really big upside. You get to automatically depressurize the washing machine hoses when you're not using them, and that means peace of mind. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.